Hey, it's Chime Time, and this is an episode of Cooking Avenue because we're demoing some Doritos, and they're number one flavored. Just kidding. They're actually like sweet chili or honey chili. Honey, chi honey chili flavored Doritos. <laughs> anyway, these were $5.99 at H Mart in K-Town, Manhattan, which is like... 32nd Street and 3rd Avenue, kinda. Anyway, it's it's near a Biko Curry. Shout out to them because they are the best curry in the world and New York City anyway. And uh, yeah, check out my new haircut. Cut the sides a little shorter, you know, coming out the back. It's the Great American Shutdown, so this is what we're working with. Gotta fix that. But anyway, I like the mullet look. It's going cool for me. Yeah, business in the front, party in the back, or as they say, teleconference in the front, whatever you're doing <laughs> off camera in the back. So as you can see, here's the ingredients. It's got um, oil and Doritos. <laughs> So I'm guessing these are oily. They actually have some numbers, and no, actually some of it's in English, which is cool. Um, it's got the stuff you'd normally expect, except like, it's this is actually like a little sticker. I'm not sure if you can see, kinda. Yeah, I kinda see it. It's a little sticker that's written in American and it's placed on, off the top, AKA written in English, the language of our forefathers or the forefathers, fathers of our forefathers. Uh, so sunflower oil, palm oil, soybean, honeybean, refined salt, glucose, whatever contains wheat, soybean, egg, and milk. Are these even, no, it says corn, it says corn up front. So they are corn chips still, but yeah, it looks super awesome. It looks tasty. I don't know if these are actually going to taste it's still made by Frito-Lay. Um, who knows if it's actually like uh, made in, in a foreign factory or not, or maybe it's made locally. I don't know. I think it's kind of expensive for a bag of chips. I typically don't buy bags of chips, but I, I wouldn't want to pay more than $3 for like a larger bag of chips. This is like a medium size or like a 1990s large family size. Yeah, like you go to Walmart, like wherever Walmart is, we don't have them here. They're banned <laughs> anyway, because it's New York City and we invented unions. So like, Oh, no, it says produced under license to Lotte, 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 don't know, but uh, yeah, obviously it's Doritos Euro Monitor International Limited 2016. Number one, that's who they were rated by. I'm figuring it out, I'm some kind of investigator. Also, that might be the expiration date. Unsure. But yeah, let's go for it. Not so easy. <sighs> Smells appetizing. Not much. Mostly air in there. <laughs> so I read some reviews of this, namely to figure out what flavor this is. And that like some of the reviews were good some of them were bad like obviously someone who eats a lot of these was like this is my favorite uh one of the reviews i read that had other flavors like this so it was like cool ranch and it's still on my computer computer monitor they didn't like any of them one was was cheese the other one was cool ranch and the other one was like um uh honey pepper honey chili and they didn't like any of them First off, they look like they're slightly different. They look a little thinner. It's normal for um, a chip, I guess, but our chips are thick. Mmm. I like it. Whoever reviewed those doesn't like Spicy Boys. So they are thinner and they feel like they're stale, but they're not. 
hard to describe. Thin, but, but rigid. Yeah, rigid. Lacking the crunch because there's less air in there. That's what's actually going on. The reason why they're thin is because there's less air inside. See, little tiny air pocket, only one of those. So not as crunchy, more rigid. You know, that's just what it is. Enjoyable, for sure. Yeah, because there's less air bubbles, I think there's less surface area for the flavor to diffuse. And also, it's probably less calorie dense because like, there's less area for like, I guess the oil to remain or whatever. So they taste significantly less oily and scientifically, I think. That's what my, um, I almost said hypergamy, it would be, it's what my hy hypotenuse or hypothesis. <laughs> Being clever today. Mm. Now, hold on. Let me get you a good, a good fucking crunch. I will try. I'll put two chips in my mouth. That's going to drive some people mad. It's either like a new viewer that's going to get turned away. <laughs> Lost them already. Or it's a previous viewer who's just like grown angry with me because I do this all the time. Or somebody who's already left already and it's not even a problem anymore. <laughs> My hair is sticking out so much with this white background. It's not half as bad when I look in the mirror in like a less brightly lit bathroom. It's good. Now, you definitely taste the, um, it seriously lo looks like, this is a great accurate description. I, w I wish like American Doritos had this because like they just have like colors like red and blue and maybe they have fire. The purple one is kind of like, there's a purple one that's similar to this. Kind of, but this is better <laughs> by a lot. Cause like, I don't feel sick when I eat these. Like the other ones are way more addictive too. And actually these, like the burn kind of catches up with you. Like, I feel like the other ones, like the American ones, you eat them and then the, like the flavor on them coats your tongue and then you don't taste them anymore because your taste buds are clogged. These have like more of a viscous, like a like a slippery, spicy kind of to them, where it goes in your tongue and you feel the burn, like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I don't really feel him very much at all, um, <laughs> but his name comes to mind. You know, good marketing. You know, burn or burning man. You know. That's more my speed. If you're my employer, do not listen to me right now. <laughs> anyway. These are good, not as addictive in flavor, but you can keep tasting them so you can keep eating them. So that's like a, that's an interesting conundrum. But definitely, you get that sugary vibe. Not super cheap like fructose corn syrup, even though these are made of literal corn. Um, so they don't have as cheap of a hot sauce flavor. So it's like a, a bit of a nicer hot sauce. And then you get like kind of like a dry rub kind of taste going on. The more you eat the burning, it's burning in your your esophagus or your throat kind of like a uh like you're drinking an alcohol 
What is in here? Doritos? And, uh, question mark. <laughs> I love Korean food. Korean Doritos. Now, I've had like a, like a Pepsi that was all in Japanese and it was pink. It was like extra carbonated and I'm pretty sure it was like lychee flavored or something, which is like another fruit that I'm going to have to put on this channel because I love crazy things. Not that I'm sure I, I know where to get lychee when it's not great shutdown in 2020. There's a place on Canal Street over by like the big old fashioned French archway looking thing. I love it because it's French looking, but I don't know what it's called. It's past Baxter. It's going towards the um, west side. Yeah. And then once you uh, in, go left, you know, instead of Canal Street, there's like kind of a walkway and then there's like an overpass. You go down there and there's a million Chinese grandmas selling fruits in the summer and it's so hot and you just buy whatever fruit you want and then you just eat it right there because life doesn't matter. It's fruit, it's hot, you're excited. You just want to bite into it. It's the best. Seriously, I love New York City. I don't know if I sold you on that description, but I if I hear that, you know, I'm sold. <laughs> These are making me so happy. I don't want to put them back in the bag because coronavirus, even though my hand's been going in there and I'm not even supposed to say those words. But maybe it's late in the video and the YouTube employees don't watch that far. <laughs> Even though it's all computer alg algamated, algorithmic mated. It's algamated. Who knows? Half these words are made up anyway. That's how they got invented. Jeez. Um, I just read, found the calories, even though they're also in English. Oh, this is just, I hope this is not culturally inappropriate, but in English, it says 155 calories per serving. And there's six, about six in here. And in this bag, I'm not, I'm not about to do the math, but it says that they're, in Korean, let me po point with my, um, can I even read upside down or backwards? Oh yeah, in orange. It says 515K calories. Those are Korean calories. They are Korean metric units of measure and they are used to tell you how unhealthy these are because there's no way that these are healthy. I've reviewed the Shishito Peppers episode. Um, I think we had squid as a snack. Um, I think I had some Joe Rogan food, you know, some uh, protein bars. Oh yeah, there was the episode with the spicy um, pistachio nuts, spicy, spicy pistachio nuts, which are better. I don't know which one's healthier, spicy pistachio nuts or these Doritos, but I can tell you that I ate far too many of those because I, with my stimulus check, I bought like five bags and um, I'm a little bit over them, finally. It was a good way to change it up. You know, like sometimes it's better to like spend a little bit of extra money um, to try something new. You're not eating too much of it, you know, like as a deterrent from having too much unhealthy food, but I don't know. I'm just figuring it out. These are ideas. Listen to your your conscious. You should have one of those. <laughs> Listen to your thoughts in your head. Kind of think what makes sense. Maybe compare it to others. But like what makes you feel good, what you think you should do, it all adds up at the end of the day.
literally. So, yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy. If I, if I was going to rate these, of all my snacks, scale um, of one to five, kind of like the Netflix star thing, I'd give this a five out of five. Five stars, baby. I, I, almost, I almost just hit it because I want to quit it. Um, my name's Chime Time. This is Cooking Avenue. These are Honey Chili Doritos from Korea. H-Mart. Live to love. Chime Time.